Why is Qigong so effective in actually treating uh, phases in the body that we are actually uh, suffering from pain or let's say rigidity or stiffness or even difficulty in movement? If you think about Western medicine, it means that we have pain, we have some inflammation, we have some something that happened to the structure of the body. It is the bone, the tendons, the muscles. Okay? Maybe we fell and hurt ourselves. Or maybe we strain ourselves while lifting something heavy. All that matters in Qigong and Chinese medicine is that pain is actually a circumstance that comes from blockage or stagnation of qi of blood. So stagnation of qi and blood is actually pain. And if you practice Qigong with the emphasis of breathing, and moving the chi throughout the body, then it means that it's actually curing the stagnation or curing and elevating or relieving the pain. That's the way to work. So, of course, if you just choose from YouTube here and then exercises, mostly it will have some nice effect of relieving the pain. But if you want to treat totally the pain, now really remiss everything and even allow yourself after many, many years to relax all the body and take the pain out, then it means that you have to choose the correct Qigong practice. Let's say I hurt my lower back, two vertebras, about uh, 32 years ago when I was a young boy and was striking here in the Himalayas of Nepal that I'm now again. And what I do from there, I practice some exercises, let's say even from the Baduan Jin, eight bouquet. I take the uh, exercising of the, uh, of the shaking of the tail, and twisting of the body while separating heaven and earth and other exercises and I combine them together with my knowledge of Chinese medicine to practice in a way that will be efficient to my body and I do that every day, every day non-stop. Over 30 years I do that because I know that the severity of the, of the problem there in the lower back is basically treated only by, um, by going to surgery. I didn't want then, I don't want to do now a surgery, so I practice daily with my body. So if you choose the right exercise of the Qigong, even this um, series or another series, and you go to a professional teacher or professional healer of Qigong and Chinese medicine, medicine, we can tell you which exercise will be better for you. And actually, this is an invitation for you. If you want, just contact me, write me the message, what is your problem, what do you want to treat, and I will try to help you to locate the exact exercise for you. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.